getting really wet outside. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of the studio. My name is Adam and it's time for another Let's Watch. So yeah, if you're new to my channel, hit that red subscribe button below if you haven't already to get up my uploads. Otherwise, yeah, I make a whole bunch of content about percussion things and there's this segment called Let's Watch where we watch videos submitted by all of you at adamtempercussion.com forward slash discord. That's the studio family discord, almost up to 1,000 members. That's where you can submit anything that you'd like to see featured on this channel. Now on the discord, we've got heaps of Let's Watch videos that I haven't gone through just yet. And today I thought it'd be interesting to go through some concert large ensemble videos. I have really missed playing in a concert large ensemble. I don't really get to play an ensemble much anymore as I'm well out of university. I graduated back in 2017. So I haven't played in any ensemble that's bigger than like a quartet for maybe mm, yeah four or five years. Wow. <laughs> I do miss that part of my life being a student and being able to play in percussion ensemble. I remember when I was in university I used to say oh you know it's gonna be so much effort to rehearse this piece. I don't have time to do all of these things. But since I don't have that I have these videos instead. <laughs> So our first submission is from Yeti Katz. Hey guys, my name is Jordan Katz and I'm a junior at Norcross High School in Georgia. Our top percussion ensemble had the chance to perform in the chamber percussion ensemble at the most recent PASIC, that would have been PASIC 2021, and they ended up placing second with Fandango 13 by Michael Barrett. I'm the marimba player who starts and also plays bongos and xylophone. Any feedback would be greatly appreciated. That's so awesome, Jordan, and I'm so sorry I didn't catch this video until like almost four months later, but I hope you'll forgive me as I will actually be at PASIC this year. <laughs> Pretty keen because I haven't heard this piece in a very long time. Let's watch. All right, so here we are with Fandango 13 and... This carpet, I'll recognize this carpet and wall combination any day of the week. This is Indiana Convention Center. I'm gonna be here in November. <laughs> anyway, enough about me. This is a really cool ensemble. Is it a sextet, right? Sextet, one, two, three, four, five, six, yes. Yeah, usually when you play at PASIC, like you can basically get any instrument you want based on the fact that there's literally an expo hall full of instruments right next door. Uh, I would love to play in like a percussion ensemble of all marimba ones. That would be the dream, in fact, I think the next video might be about that. Anyway, yeah, Fandango 13. I'm going to be watching out for Jordan, who I think might be this person on the right, who's starting off the piece. Let's go. This is a competition as well, don't forget. This is actually a competition performance. I love this person in the front using their hoodie as a mask. Okay, so this must be Jordan. All right, we've got some pulsing. Oh, hey. So together. Very clean cutoffs, very nice. I love your beating positions, Jordan. That's really, really great. This is a high school group, right? That's pretty ridiculous. <laughs> Oh, nice queuing, nice queuing. Probably could have been a little bit clearer with the up-down, but that's all right. Oh, that entry was a bit... Still very good though. Oh, I love the cutting in with the accented lines. Very nice. The vibe sounds great. The reverb in this convention center is huge. <laughs> oh, this part sounds a bit uneven. Oh. Okay, these hits are great. They're all in time really, really together. The djembe sounds a little bit rushed, not gonna lie. <laughs> it sounds very Michael Barrett, very straight. Lots of emerging textures. This marimba player on the right hand is also really, really good at counting big beats. The bass line is just sitting in so well. And all the guitar hits are really together. I do wish there was a little bit more pulsing from everybody, but yeah. I thought Jordan's doing a good job of leading it in, that's good. I can see some pulsing. It doesn't seem to be right on though. <laughs> oh, this part's good though. Nice. Woo! Woo! Damn. Yeah. 
okay. I love the hand gestures from Jordan. It's really great. I wish the rest of them were doing stuff like that too. It does look kind of funny when only one person is doing it. Also, the music stands could be a bit lower. But I think this is like a thing that you see a lot in the United States. It's like the music stands are really high. Nice. Oh, look at that mallet height. Nice cut off. Back with the nice beating spots. Yeah, the river player on the right is using like rear fulcrum. That's so interesting. Yeah, the player on the left is also doing a really great job of getting those connecting lines. Accuracy is basically like 100%. Oh, this is clean. Oh, that fade was good. That was really good. Well done. Yeah, this bass line is great. That bottom C is like sounding good without being too swaggy. It's nice. Woo! This is solid. Accents are great. We're finally starting to see more of the, the joint lifts. You can see the audience is like, yeah, let's go, let's go. Oh, Jordan, nice leading. I love these downward runs. Oh, beautiful. Audience should have waited a bit longer to let them cut it off, but that's great. Oh, that's so sick. So this performance is from a high school and also it only came second. I, I wonder what came first because that was really, really good. It's like really, really together. Uh, there are a few things I could say about it, but I'm being really nitpicky when I say it because totally like the performance is actually so good. It's so together, sounds awesome. Before I say anything else, if you're enjoying the video so far, please give me a thumbs up. Yeah, I think overall, it's just like super nice to hear how balanced it is. You can hear that nobody is like thwacking it really hard. There's no dynamic imbalance. There's no harsh noises. There's no... Uh, overly articulate sections or anything like that. It just sounds really clean. The blend is really clean. I think it's just really small things. Like there are a couple of entries like from the djembe, it was a little bit weird. Like they didn't quite sit well. And I think that might be attributed to just having a bigger group pulse. I can see Jordan was pulsing a lot, which is great. And it seems like Jordan is leading most of the entries, but it would be nice to see everybody pulse a little bit more. When everybody did pulse, it was really nice. I really like the river player on the right bass and counting of big beats. You can see that they're really, really steady. And yeah, I guess the only other thing is visually maybe just have the music stands a bit lower. Honestly, Jordan and Norcross Ensemble, you did a really great job. It sounds phenomenal. And I really look forward to seeing you play more. This is just high school. I can't wait to see what else you do in the future. Anyway, if you're enjoying the video so far, please give me a thumbs up. Let's continue on with the second submission, which is XADE2023. Hey everyone, this is the Vista Ridge High School Production Ensemble, which this group is known around the world for their amazing skills and talent, which they have some of the best players in the country. That's a pretty big sell. <laughs> the piece they play in this video is amazing because of how well the percussionists work together to produce an amazing product. Also, this piece is amazing because no matter how crazy this piece gets, it is still easy to understand and enjoy. And I already know what piece this is just by looking. I don't even need to look at the title. I already know what it is. It's Collide, isn't it? It's Collide. Yep, it's Collide. <laughs> In the thumbnail, there's like, what? Yeah, six, six, five octaves, right? Yeah. I've watched Collide like maybe five times now, twice live, and the rest of it has been on Best Watch. And yeah, there's just so much instrumentation. Like it's so hard to see this many instruments. And if I'm not mistaken, that looks like all marimba ones. Let's watch. Okay, so here's the opening shot. And as we can see, <laughs> that's a lot of marimba one. Every single one is a marimba. That's ridiculous. Are they all spec the same way? No, no, surely not, surely not. Okay, so I can see like the middle four, they have like darker color bars, so I'd assume those are the premium bars because I know generally speaking when you get premium bars from Rimmel 1 they're usually darker enhanced and premium usually it's more darker bars whereas the traditional one like the one I have is more light so, yeah these are all the 3100 frames you can see it's got that additional wood piece on the side so this is like the more fancy sturdier frame and there's, there's six of them six like in Australia, you'd struggle to have two Marimba 1 five octaves at one institution. These, these people have six. <laughs> okay, what else we got? We got one, two, three vibraphones, uh, four vibraphones, four. Uh, and then the back, we got the drums and the tam-tams and stuff. And then we got tubular bells on the side there. And we also have, wait, is that two sets of tubular bells? Okay, we got two sets of tubular bells. And we also have uh, five timpani. 
Yep, that's that's Remington for you. That's a lot of marimbas. I'm sorry, I just can't get away from the fact that there are six marimba one five octaves that clearly are not base models, like 150, 150,000 maybe. Something like that. Yeah, I'd say 150,000 US dollars. Maybe that's ridiculous. In any case, if you don't know this piece, Collide by Jacob Robinson, it's one of the most played large, large ensemble pieces. We're saying large ensemble, it means like there's how many people here? Six, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. There's 17 players on stage. Okay, let's just go. I'm really excited. <laughs> let's go. Oh, that opening run was a bit eh, but still. I think people got a little bit too excited there, but. Those scale runs are like so important because if they're out of time, everybody can tell. I'd love to play this in Australia one day. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, that was a bit messy. Oh, this top-down view is sick. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, oh, the scale runs are good. Uh, yeah, it's pretty good. It's a little bit of clicking. Really nice octave left hands from the Rovers. And I love that they're all using similar types of stroke as well. Nice lifting. The, the, yeah, the two in the middle, there's a lot of confidence, like a lot of soloistic confidence in their playing. I like that, that's really cool. Yeah, normally I don't like having conductors for large ensemble, but this piece definitely needs it. <laughs> there's just way too much going on to not have one. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Ah, oh, it's pretty together. Oh, look at this. Oh, Marimbas are just killing it. So good. And the vibes too. Why, why are we focusing on the conductor? I, I want to watch the actual performance. No offense. <laughs> Oh, oh, so epic. This is the really straight marching part, right? With the, um, the marching machine, which that person in the back is using. This is so sick. I love the drum writing for this piece too. It is very marchy sounding, but yeah, it sounds so good in a concert context. Look at those left hand octaves. Left hand's gonna be sore for days. This is ridiculous. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, this is this is very, very together. And the Malahites are really great. Got the dual tubular bells. <laughs> and yeah, the room ones sound so nice. Woo! 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 Oh, look at these scale runs. That run was was good, but it did sound a little bit shaky. Oh, oh look at this! <laughs> wow! Wow! So together. What? Wow. 
and look at the different styles of strokes that they're doing. This is just crazy. Lots of finger, lots of little scoops. The four mallet players are just outstanding. And the accuracy is just like perfect as well. What? Oh. <laughs> look, at the, look at the five players! What the? Ah, oh, this is awesome. This is so good. <laughs> I think this might be the best collab performance I've watched so far. Uh, it's not perfect by any means, but it's pretty incredible. Like the intensity is there, and you can tell all the Marimba players like they they've played a lot of solo Marimba because it's like soloistic without being show offy. I really like it. Hey, oh oh, this entry is a little bit dirty, but they fixed it. Ha 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 ha! Look at the Valor high from everybody. Incredible. Huh? Wow, wow. <laughs> the siren hadn't finished yet. <laughs> That's incredible. That's incredible. I would be like on my feet for a performance like that. That's just <laughs> That's too good. That's too good. Like, you know, when people are just like playing really together, but also there's a lot of power, a lot of energy, a lot of intensity. And then, yeah, the fact that it's played on Marimba 1, I swear that makes it sound better. Cause like the Marimba sounds so good when they're at like big projection like that. It sounds so clean, so clear. Let me know what you thought down in the comments below. I'm honestly like speechless. This piece is very hard to get together. It's very hard to get all the runs to be accurate. And the rate of accuracy that we're seeing in this performance is very, very high. Yes, there was a couple of moments where they didn't quite come in together. But I think that's, you know, when you're caught up in the moment, when you're playing so many scale runs one after another, this is a, like a seven and a half minute piece. It's a really long piece to be maintaining such a level of composure for such a long time. And they're just doing it. It's like so easy for them. Uh, so there must have been many, many hours of practice. But yeah, also, this is a high school. Let's just remind ourselves, this is a high school ensemble. And we don't normally see high school ensemble performances like this. It's just ridiculous. I don't think any high school in the entirety of Australia could play something like this at this level. Like maybe we could get it together, but I don't know it would be this clean and at tempo and just like pretty much perfect. That is such a, an undeniably high level of polish. And as I was saying in the video, soloistic playing without being too flashy is one of the things that is really hard to find nowadays. And they're doing it. They're just doing it as though it's nothing. I'm really, really, really happy to see that. Well done to Vista Ridge High School. Well done to the director of Vista Ridge High School for directing something like that. It must not be easy getting together, you know, almost 20 people in an ensemble and then coordinating things like dynamics, cues, making sure everybody comes in together, making sure people even come to the rehearsals at all. Uh, it's really hard to coordinate that many people in a concert environment. When you're in high school, you've got other things to study for as well, and they still have time to do this. That is ridiculous. <laughs> so yeah, congratulations to Vista Ridge High School. And um, yeah, if you're enjoying the video, please give me a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. So yeah, I think that definitely takes the cake on one of the best large ensemble performances I've seen on this segment period. I think it might be the best version of Collide that I've ever seen. So yeah, if you have anything like this you'd love to submit or anything percussion related at all, head over to azcapitalcom forward slash discord. It's a really fun place to hang out and I will look forward to seeing your submissions. And if you haven't already hit that red subscribe button below to keep up with my uploads, do so now as I upload new videos every week on this channel related to percussion. Also, if you want to check out more non-percussion content i have a new vlog channel that i'm starting up which is in the description below which is replacing my old vlog channel new non-percussion content like travel vlogs when i travel in october and november to korea and the us thank you so much for watching this week's episode i'll see you next week for another episode of the studio good night